a fill tool and it is used to fill color in any closed shape. But the problem arises with the fill tool is empty spaces which are left when you fill color. Here you can see a streak of line which is not filled with colors. So what's the solution? So the first method is when you fill color, don't just tap on it. What you need to do is fill color and drag it out. To some extent this is going to work out. If not, fill color in empty spaces until all empty spaces are filled. So this is the simple solution. So the second method is select magic wand and then select the area which is to be colored here I'm selecting two because the other method uses magic wand as well and then tap on expand this will automatically expand the selected area up to the outline and then after selecting you have to confirm it and then you have to add a layer on a new layer because without this you are going to face the same problem and after adding color you can merge the layer the third method is select solid fill and then fill the selected area with the solid fill after it, disable the selection. The problem is solved. If you have made any shape, can you fill the color on a new layer in shape? Let's check it out. No, this is not going to happen. You can only add color to the layer which comprises the shape. But this is possible with the icon you can all see here. You have to notice the change in the icon. So you will select the layer as a source layer which comprises the shape. This is the source layer and the layer above it would be activated layer. Now you can add color on a new layer. After selecting the source layer, you can fill color on any activated layer. The activating source layer is common for all fill tools. If you notice here, so you will see there are three closed spaces here. But when you fill color, the color would be according to the shapes and layers. But if you enable the multiple layer sampling, so you can add color in any closed space because fill takes all layer and all closed areas into account. And you can also add color to any layer. There would be no limitation of layers. Again, the multiple layer sampling is common for all fill tools. Can you add color in this shape? Because this is not evenly colored shape. Color consistency is not equal and there is a color gradient. So for this we use tolerance. If the tolerance value is zero, you can't add color properly to this shape but if the tolerance value is half you can cover more area but if the tolerance value is maximum you can entirely color the shape so this is the use of the tolerance again the gradient tolerance is common for all fill tools This is the gradient fill tool 
and it has three different styles. Let's see the use of linear gradient fill. This is linear gradient fill and these two dots are the color stops and you can change the color from the color stops by just tapping on them. And the line here is gradient axis. You can also add intermediate color stops by just tapping on it. And you can also change color from intermediate color stops. If you don't want this color stop, you can drag it out to remove it. This sign indicates the reverse direction and this sign indicates the reflect. When you enable this, you will see the reflection of one color. This is repeat. You can repeat the same pattern of gradient as many times as you want. And if you combine repeat plus reflect, you would come up with the exclusive color gradient. And this is so amazing. Select the radial gradient fill and fill the area. The color gradient would be rounded. And this sign indicates the reverse. And this is the reflect of the color. When you enable it, you will see the reflection of one color. This is the repeat pattern means you can repeat this pattern as many times as you want. You can also add color stops and you can also change the color from the intermediate color stops. Now let's just check it out that how unique styles we can create by using radial gradient fill. Here is the final result. How did you find it? Select the sweep gradient fill and fill the area. There would be the conical gradient fill. You can also reverse the direction. You can also add intermediate color stop and you can change the color. If you drag it downward, there would be clockwise rotation and if you drag the color stop upward, there would be anti-clockwise rotation. You can also reflect the color. The color would reflect from both sides. You can also drag the point upward and downward for desired effect. You can also repeat this pattern as many times as you want. Let's check it out how diverse styles we can create using sweep gradient fill. also change the position of the intermediate color stops for more desired effect. Pattern tool has so many patterns and you can use all of them. You can also add patterns from your gallery, camera and your files and you can also search it on the internet. Oh, so I have selected this one. And here you will see the options of setting. So first one is you can change the color of the pattern. The second one is you can increase the saturation of the color. Third one is the brightness contrast the difference in the light and dark colors you can also adjust these settings to produce the desired effect 
you can also change the scale of the pattern by dragging it back and forth so you can use pattern tool for your graphics this way this is the source source is the object which is to be cloned you can select any layer for source you can select this layer for source and you can select the lower layer for source you can choose any brush for cloning here I have chosen the soft air brush you can clone on the same layer as of source or you can clone on a separate layer Clone tool has three modes, photo mode, artistic mode and smart mode. Let's see the use of photo mode. Photo mode clones the object exactly the same as of source. You can find out the difference. It has two options, offset and align. If the offset is disabled. It clones exactly on the same location of source and here is the source and here is the clone you can check it by hiding the lower layer if offset is enabled you will see an offset pointer set the pointer to the area you want to clone and then you can clone anywhere on the layer If align is disabled, here you can see it is disabled. Let me clear the layer. Each new stroke starts the new copy of the source. As you can see here, I am given the multiple stroke and each stroke is starting a new copy of source. If align is enabled, no matter how many strokes you are using, it will give you a continuous clone. This mode uses original image as a general source of colors for painting at the target location. Select the artistic mode. It has two options, blur and pull. If the blur and pull are zero, and then clone the object, you will see no blending of colors. But if the value of the blur is maximum, and if you clone it, you will see there would be more software blending of colors than previous one. If the pull is zero, you can't pull or smudge the color. But if the value of pull is increased, you can pull the color to some extent. And if the value of pull is maximum, you can pull the color up to your stroke length. Here you can see this and this is very helpful in cloning the object. This is more painter thing and you will see a new change in the source. Select the smart mode and it has option of stroke length, mixing, smart rotation and edge contrast. Let's see the use of the stroke length. If the value of stroke length is zero, then when you clone, you will see the length of the stroke is in the form of circles or dots. But if you increase the value, you will see 
the length of the stroke is increased and it is in the form of sticks. If the value of mixing is zero, the colors would not be mixed. But if the value is increased to maximum, you will see the colors are mixing and you will see a more softer mixing of color than this one. If the smart rotation is zero, you will see no rotation of a stroke along the edges. Here you can see this. But if the value of the smart rotation is increased, you will see the rotation of the stroke along the edges and when it approaches the corner, the stroke rotates along the edges. If the edge contrast is fully negative while cloning, you will see that there is no fine edges of this clone. And when edge contrast is fully positive, while cloning, you will notice the difference between these two and you will notice the fine edges of the clone when edge contrast is maximum. Here you can see the difference in the edges. If the complete stroke is off, the flow of the stroke would be watery type. But if the complete stroke is on, it tracks ahead and draw the stroke only within a certain length and that has ended. How can we use clone tool? One of the use of the clone tool is to draw the smoke. And this is the easiest method to draw the smoke using artistic mode. Like and subscribe.